Matya and Matt Benassi quickly discovered the law was not on their side, so they turned to Lenny Posner, who had suffered in the same way. I was being attacked. The memory of my son, my son's very short life was being attacked, and I just wasn't going to stand for that. The very short life of Posner's son, Noah, ended at Connecticut's Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 with 25 others. The gunshots of a madman have ricocheted online ever since. Conversations denying uh, the tragedy, uh, accusing uh, the government of staging it. What was the most but hurtful thing they said about you? That Noah did not die, that I'm not Noah's father. Uh, it all revolves around the notion that these are staged shootings that they're scripted events, that I'm an actor, that I'm paid to fake uh, the death of a child. Before the COVID pandemic, we hired theatrical makeup artists to disguise Posner for his safety. He's pursued by death threats. One woman left a voicemail saying, death is coming for you real soon. She landed in prison sooner. How many times have you had to move your family? Around seven times. He's targeted because he's invented ways to fight back. He copyrighted photos of his son to control how they're used. He published a letter to Facebook CEO that read, you have deemed our lives are less important than providing a safe haven for hate. This was meant by you and your ex-wife to be public shaming of Facebook. That has been really the only effective way to get change for online platforms. After the letter, a Facebook manager called Posner.